Aloha, e como mai? My name is Joy Lacanienta. I'm your facilitator for today. I'd like to introduce Reverend Takamasa Yamamura. Um, Reverend Yamamura is a priest of the Nishiren Shu Buddhism. In 2008, he installed into ministerial rank and served as an instructor of retreat for the Italian followers in Milan. In 2009, he trained as an overseas minister in Samath, India. In 2013, he served as an instructor of the Texas retreat in Houston. He served many lectures in Japan as well. Currently, he is the head minister of the Honolulu Mihoji Mission Temple since 2010 until present. And I know he didn't include this in his bio, but I just wanted to lift him up on something that is very unique. Before he dedicated himself to Buddhism, Reverend Takamasa Yamamura, besides being a good friend, has also been a renowned opera singer. So maybe we can coax him to sing mm -hmm. for us. That would be great. But I'm going to head it now to Reverend Yamamura. And thank you for. Hi, Konnichiwa. Hi. Aloha, everyone. Thank you for uh, having me today. It is a really privilege uh, uh, to speak at this uh, uh, important course. But again, I'm a Japanese national, so my English is not perfect. So I, I think uh, sometimes I will ask Joy to support me. So today I will start to speak about the meditation of Buddhist, but uh, Buddhist, but meditation in general, actually, it is not for only Buddhist people. So everyone can apply the meditation. I think last time I explained that Buddhism began from reflection on our inner self. So the reflection of inner self, it's called mindfulness, it's famous. And then this is to control the desires that bring suffering to human beings, such as uh, greed, such as uh, uh, anger, ignorance, uh, sadness, a lot of the uh, feeling that we, we try to control. But that, that I'd like to share first is the mind is not really human beings' masters. Please just remember it. The mind is actually servant. And our spirit, we believe in the spirit, true self, actually is a master of mind. So we can control our mind. How? And we should engage the meditation. But firstly, I would like to add a little bit explanation about uh, meditation. The Shakyamuni Buddha, our founder, he said that human life is suffering. So when, for example, when we want water, I ask some, someone to give me water, but if I cannot have it, we suffer. Because uh, why isn't there water? And uh, I, I, I will be sati. And we turn our consciousness to our suffering from thirst. This is the important part. Since our suffering is happening in, within our mind, so uh, when we suffer, our consciousness naturally turns to our mind. So when we want to water and are given, given water, if I got the water and drink it, and our consciousness go to the water, or oh, mizu, thank you, mizu. And our consciousness is turned to the external object called water. So our thirst is satisfied and our consciousness does not turn within mind. So the main practice of uh, a lot of the religions that prayer, it's turned to external sometimes. We pray to outside, we pray, you know? We also wish for change in our external environment. So we want to others to change. We want to something, material processes. But the Buddhism is found in the meditation. The essence of Buddhism is in the meditation. That is say, say we turn our consciousness to the inside of our mind. So this is to take notice of the divine within us. So 
And then we also observe the state of our mind. We examine, our, I think last time I talked how to examine our uh, feelings. So this is the essence of meditation. We turn our consciousness to inside of our mind because we usually, our consciousness to the outside, right? We, we saw the, this uh, computer, uh, newspaper, but uh, sometimes we need to uh, bring our consciousness to the inside. So this is a mindfulness. So as you remember the stress, uh, we suffered. So now I'm a little bit uh, stressed because in front of you, I'm Japanese, you know, but I try to make me calm uh, with, with these teachings. So stress is to think about and ponder over things. We regret our past and worry about future because uh, think too much for the future, what's going on in the future. And then we sometimes regret, oh, why I did wrong, and I did wrong to my friends. These, these uh, becoming the stress. So through meditation, we man mandate our thinking and thoughts to stop. It is from leaving the discrimination of our thoughts and the interpretations that human beings are truly same. Actually, our stress is a mental illusion. So we have to take care of that. Meditation relieves our stress. And at the same time, it's very important to cultivate our compassionate mind. So meditation reduces our negative uh, feeling, but sometimes we, uh, meditation will cultivate our mind of compassion. Therefore, his holiness mentioning all the time about meditation. So uh, compassionate mind. So uh, actually you famous uh, today, I should talk about Ahimsa. Actually Ahimsa uh, begins with our inner compassion. So Ahimsa is a Sanskrit term for non-violence and it is an important doctrine in the religions of ancient Indian origin, the Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism. So everything based on the teaching of Ahimsa. So the basic teaching of Buddhism is saying, might be called Ahimsa to never kill. Killing is not a law. So Mahatma Gandhi, uh, he's uh, the father of the independence of India, promoted the principle very well by applying this Ahimsa. So I'd like to speak about Ahimsa. So please uh, listen, this is the story of the Buddha. So a long, long time ago, so about two centuries before Jesus Christ, in India, there was a King Ashoka. So this king had a mind of world conquest and he engaged in war. His country was called the Magadha. He conquered the neighboring country and killed several hundreds of thousands of people. He saw those hundreds of thousands of cops and he thought that these people who were killed might have a family, brother and sister and children somewhere. How sad are those who have been left behind and they might have hatred for me, the king Ashoka. Their hatred and sorrow will all return to me as my karma. Even if I conquer the world through war, those who remain have only hatred and sorrow. What meaning is there in world conquest and the like? The king had such thoughts after killing many people. At that time, Buddhist monk appeared and spoke to king, stop making war. He said, if you think about the world, do not kill people, but give them life. That but the, the priest said. So what does it mean to give people life? It is to preach in your mind that you will never kill a person and it is ruled your kingdom with the preach that you will never kill a person. So before long, Alexander King from Greece aspired to conquer the world and he entered India from the Middle East. Although the king should have fought against Alexander, he first sent an ambassador of peace to Greece. So actually, Ashoka, King Ashoka, he sent an ambassador of peace to Greece and discussed about ending the war. This is a historical fact. 
The peace ambassador explained the teaching of Ahimsa to Alexander about not kill people and to keep to, to give people life. So Alexander uh, King agreed with the teaching and stopped his war. So in this way, the true peace is found in the mental pledge to never end the life of a person. So this is a story of uh, Ahimsa. So the essence of the teaching of the Lotus Sutra of Buddha, so your life and my life are precious and wonderful for this reason that I treasure your life. So both oneself and another are living one great life. So a former uh, prime minister of Japan a long time ago, Mr. Takeo Fukuda, so he said the value of human life is greater than the entire earth. That he said, it became a big discussion, but this is true, I believe so. So any human beings is living that precious life. So this is actually a theory of the one vehicle of Buddhism that I wanted to talk with you today. So, so Ekayana, one vehicle of Buddhism, it is actually uh, the teaching of Lotus Sutra. So thank you, Joy, for the phrase that you put it with Lotus. This is actually came from the Lotus Sutra uh, because our temple, Myohoji, is a Lotus Sutra temple. Very simple that I wanted to share with you. The Buddha is saying that people living in the entire universe are his son and daughters. It came from the Lotus Sutra, chapter three, parable. So in the presence of one vehicle, a culture of religious differences are completely irrelevant for us. You know, the, 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 the Dalai Lama, he is uh, starting the introduction of his speech. He said, hello, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, we, are, we are sharing with the same uh, red blood, uh, like uh, culture, religion, education, and the social status. This is all the secondary matters. That uh, his holiness saying same times. This is a concept that from the Lotus Sutra, which we are uh, sharing the precious life. So all human being, humankind is receiving the life of the same precious value from something greater of the universe. Some people say God, we call eternal Buddha. So a lot of the uh, you know, name, the great, something greater of universe, universe, we are receiving the precious life. And sometimes it's important, we all possess Buddha nature that possibility of Buddha food. So therefore we can become Buddha. Uh, this is, uh, there is not, not discrimination. Everybody can become Buddha according to the teaching of the Lotus Sutra. So to become a Buddha is to be a Bodhisattva. So Bodhisattva, if interpreted to the English, a wonderful person, the who lives for the sake of others and the community. This is a bodhisattva. So to become Buddha to, is to be a bodhisattva, meaning we have to live for the sake of others and the community. I would like to try with you about our practice. So activation of Buddha nature, because oh, everyone has a Buddha nature. We, everyone has a possibility to Buddha, but sometimes we forget and then we fight with others, but everyone had. So to activate our Buddha nature, we should engage the meditation of chanting this Namu Myo Ho Renge Kyo, our mantra. So uh, today, actually, I would like to share with you chanting meditation, chanting meditation, because, you know, next week, uh, Dr. Joy will bring you other technique of meditation. So last week I shared with you the silence meditation of, of uh, you know, breathing, right? You, you remember inhaling, exhaling. And today I would like to try with you chanting, chanting mantra. This is, I, I like, because actually I, in my daily life, I don't engage silent meditation. I do chanting because chanting is uh, very powerful for me and I can concentrate. So uh, even the uh, 
that His Holiness Dalai Lama, he is engaging uh, a lot of the mantra meditation. And then uh, he is uh, 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 advise you to chant Om Mani Padme Hum. So this is a YouTube I would like to share with you. Ready, the Sandarjidi, Kada the Tanga え、his Holiness advised to you to chant now uh, Om Mani Padme Hum uh, a thousand times, but there is a lot. And then His Holiness uh, advised you to chant uh, Tala Mantra for the pandemic. So, uh, Om Tala to Tala Ture Soha, Om Tala to Tala Ture Soha. This is a Tala Mantra for the uh, overcoming this uh, problem of uh, pandemic that he is uh, uh, advising you so uh, each mantra has a uh, power. So I, 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 I treasure all the mantras because they're very powerful. But this Namu Myo Hore Kyo mantra is also very powerful for me. So I saved uh, my life by chanting this mantra. So from me, the, His Holiness suggested to you to, to chant uh, Om Mani Pemefum. But from me, I suggest to you Namu Myo Hore Kyo. 
to for you. So Namu Myo Hore Kyo, that the mantra means. So I'd like to share with you just a few with few few minutes. So Namu is to have faith and to and trust. It is it rely on to have live all in the hands of the universe. If you if you are Christian, you can say all in the hands of God. Okay, this is Namu. If when you go to the India, people say Namaste, right? Namaste, Namas becoming Namu. Namas mean to respect or to entrust. Te means you. So Namaste, Namu, Myoho Renge Kyo. So Myoho is a wonderlessness of being sustained and the miraculous power that is given us life. This is Myoho. So Namu Myoho is to rely in the miraculous power which is giving us life at this very instant and to entrust ourselves to the power. It is to be grateful to the wondrousness of being sustained at this moment. So Renge means the Bodhisattva that I explained. It is to have the life which we have received from the parents, work for the sake of others and society. This is the meaning of Bodhisattva. And then Renge actually translated to, to Lotus. Renge is Lotus in, in English. The Lotus within the muddy pond, bloom with a white flower and beautifully. This world is dirty with the selfishness desire of human beings, but we are not contaminated by the dirt and we live as a Lotus flower for this world. So Renge is a spirit to live as a savior for society. And the Kyo is expressing the unchanging truth. Kyo, this is a sutra, this is a sutra. Okay, so I can, so I have to, so the last, what, what's going on, so. So we offer our gratitude to the wondrousness of receiving the life that is sustaining us because this is a blessing, right? We are living together, even this is a very difficult time of the pandemic, we gather today to share the, the meditation. Uh, this is a kind of blessing that we, uh, we offer our gratitude and we strive to live for the sake of a society and others. The, this is a Namu Myo Hore Kyo. So now this is a practice and the learning. So this is the practice part of uh, around uh, five to 10 minutes. So uh, let us uh, do this. So again, this is one of the practice of meditation. You will learn something next week and the following week. So please select that, uh, you know, your favorite meditation and please apply the meditation in your daily life. So you will be, you will be blessed uh, for the benefits, by the benefits of the meditation because very powerful, okay? So uh, if you can, so please, uh, 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 please uh, sit uh, properly. Please sit properly, so sit up straight. And uh, please straighten your back. Back is, uh, should be straight, okay? But relax your shoulder, this is very important. And relax your neck, myself tight, okay? And, and then pull down your chin, okay? And then now we'd like to start a little bit mindfulness for us. So please put the hand, your, your hand in your uh, abdomen part uh, or your uh, abdomen part, your stomach part. Please put your hand. And then deeply breathing, inhale. So you will notice that uh, your stomach going in the outside, right? And then breathe slowly. Exhale, 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 deep breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Do you feel, feel warmth over your hands? Please feel your warmth over your hands and then please Focus on your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So please uh, continue breathing until you feel relaxation. So, okay, so now we, we would like to proceed to chanting. So you can open your eye and you can see the screen that you, if you don't know about this mantra, please chant together with me, with uh, your voice, a loud voice. I don't know which, uh, you, what your house uh, situation, but please chant louder as much as you can. Because, and then this mantra should be chanted slow because some other school of uh, Nichiren, uh, some people chant very fast, like, like a mu rock music chant very fast, but this, you know, uh, mantra should be chanted very slow and each, uh, you know, like a sound we should uh, give the energy. We should, uh, we should, uh, Pronounce properly. Na mu myo ho reng ye kyo. The voice should be should come from the your under of the stomach. Not na myo ho reng ye kyo. Should na mu myo ho reng ye kyo. Sometimes uh, his holiness. He chanted one like I don't know, but he chants very low. He doesn't chant. <laughs> but some people really misunderstanding to chant mantra. So remember the voice should come very low. Something like that. So please chant slowly and then uh, you can feel the this uh, benefit i believe okay but relax and if you can uh, close your eyes you can close your eyes but if you doesn't if you don't know the the the, the mantra please see the in front of the you know uh, the computer you can see it but again don't forget to be relaxed relax uh, spiritual, not relax, uh, physical. <laughs> this is the <laughs> voice should come from your bottom. Namu myo renge kyo. Namu myo renge kyo. Namu Oh. 
for shouting, so please open your eyes. So uh, I used to chant this around uh, 30 minutes every morning, and more than 30 minutes. This is a chanting meditation. And um, sometimes uh, we ex I experience a lot of good things by chanting. Um, so I uh, encourage to our members and followers to chant this. But again, for you, you are, you know, young students, you can select a uh, good mantra and then um, please uh, chant in your daily life. Of course, I, 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 I taught you silence meditation, but this chanting meditation is very uh, powerful. I'd like to finish uh, with my presentation uh, with uh, Gandhi's world. It's a very famous uh, world that uh, leave us though you will die tomorrow, learn as uh, though you will live forever. So the life of our physical body is not eternal. No one knows when uh, one will go to that other world. So if we live each day with gratitude that it is indeed a blessing and a precious to be alive today, each of our days will be enriched. If we might not be alive tomorrow, there are things that we must do today. If we were to die tomorrow, we must earnestly live today so that we have no regrets. When we live each day by putting our everything into it, a true feeling of worth and a joy of living bursts up from within. Mahatma Gandhi expressed this as live as though you will die tomorrow. The life of the physical body is not eternal, that I said, but our spirit, divine nature, continues to live eternally. Therefore, even if the physical body ages, the soul does not grow old. Through our way of life, our soul, our spirits is useful and radiant like you. So even if they have grown old, those who work for the sake of others are healthy because their soul is full of energy and shining. To learn as though we will live forever and to practice and learn to though we will live forever is to live eternal life. So it to live eternal life means to learn as though we will live forever. So there are infinite things to learn and it is never the case we have learned enough. That is why we are living together with the eternal called the infinite. So I love, I love this uh, world. So I, I wanted to share with you. So thank you for listening today. Thank um, I have one question. And while I'm queuing the other students to ask questions as well, um, His Holiness the Dalai Lama mentioned Bodhicitta. Is that different from Bodhisattva? Bodhicitta uh, is a, 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 a kind of bodhisattva nature kind. Bodhicitta mean the uh, you know when it's uh, uh, conscious consciousness no consciousness. This is a uh, um, conscious no conscious no consciousness. awareness a a awareness or it, it, the 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 good mind that we, if you, you know, the mind which we would like to help others, something like that. Conscience, sorry, conscience. Oh, the conscience. Conscience. Oh, conscience is a bodhicitta that I interpreted. Um, I have a question. 
Can, can you elaborate on the uh, um, true self? <laughs> true self. True self. Okay. True self means that if, if I could say a kind of higher self in my call, because again, I said mind is our mind. And this is the, because if you ask me, who are you? Of course, I am a Takamasa, but this is our body. And then this is our mind. So where is my substantial uh, entity, if I can say, substantial entity, do you understand? So what is uh, my real self? What my real self it is? So actually we cannot find the real self. So we call uh, our real self as uh, you know, true self or in, in, in Japanese, uh, Shinga and, you know, mm -hmm. or, and then again, because mind is always make us travel. It's sometimes good because mind attract even the happening. If our mind is positive, as you know, uh, we attract the positive events. But if uh, too much uh, sad or you know, negative feeling, we will attract the negative. Mind is very powerful. However, our true self that, if I could say third party, can control both of mind and body. Do you understand, Joy-san? <laughs> the true self at the controlling mind and body. So if we're too much sad, we bring up, bring up, up you know, if we're too overjoyed, bring, we, we should be humble. These, and the, even the physical body, we should train our physical body. You know, we have to exercise, we have to eat well. This is our true nature's work, true self that, you know, should control. But so if, if I'm right, just, um, Sensei, you're meaning that the balance, yeah, so being pono with yourself. Yes. That's the native Hawaiian concept of righteousness, being right within yourself, with the environment, with your relationships with other people. Yes. But you cannot be right, or you cannot be pono with anything around you if you don't start being pono with or being having that true self being right with yourself first if you don't have that sense of balance with yourself yeah so balanced life yeah important yeah thank you for your explanation uh sensei do you have a specific uh mantra for like quieting the ego is that something that you work on uh like, yeah words? i i suggest you this mantra namu myoho kyo this is if too much ego, you know, we can have awareness. We will be able to have, uh, you know, take notice something. If, because once we chanted Namu Myo Hore Kyo, Namu Myo Hore Kyo deeply, uh, we will be aware of the truth that the structure of the universe or how do we live better, you know, but so, of course, someone can teach me, right? Teach us, or some doctor or some philosopher taught me, you know, you should live this way. But sometimes it's very hard to accept because this is other, you know, experience. Why we have to follow your advice? <laughs> but through this meditation, through this practice, we will be have awareness. We will have awareness that, oh, maybe this is a life. Oh, yeah, I can say insights. That. So yeah, I suggest you chant, but the priest chant, you know, again, slowly, don't chant, you know, you don't need to chant a lot, just, uh, you know, slow and make sure relax. Ne? I find for myself that it calms the mind, um, but, you know, it's different for each people, right? Next week, what I'm going to do, um, I will be your instructor. I have been doing guided meditation affirmation and the focus of that is based on trauma releasing trauma or addressing trauma there are some traumas that you really cannot fully release right because it's so deep um, and that's how we are organizing this um, 
inner peace session so that we have different topics and then what works for you is great what doesn't work for you just make a note of it i encourage everyone to at least you know just say oh that's not me just try to practice it you know you're not going to lose anything if you practice but next week is guided meditation so there will be a voice guiding you to do that i also um because i'm a sociologist i i pay attention to neurological effects of the brain so there will be music therapy as well it has made wonders not just for myself but also for the people that have gone through my trainings before and yeah you're sorry i just i would like to add mm -hmm. so actually this today today i shared with you this is a kind of preliminary it's a very begins so i think a third or fourth week i think dr saito he's a psychiatrist doctor so he is uh, also a uh, 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 reverend of our, you know, our school of Nichiren. So he will a uh, bit more uh, advanced that me meditation practice will share with you, you know, the, because uh, Dr. Joy mentioning about trauma, because even Damu Myoho Renkyo will heal the trauma. But today I didn't talk the, 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 because this is the first time. So uh, I think Dr. Saito will explain more in detail about how to heal our, you know, a bottom of the problem of the mind. Yeah. And I will be posting this. So if you want to review it and watch it again. Um, do you have an, any advice for, um, for everyone, I guess, um, about finding their own chant that works for themselves? Yes. So again, you know, I suggest this mantra to you. <laughs> But uh, even, yeah, uh, you know, you saw the Dalai Lama, he's mentioned Om Mani Peme Fum. This is a mantra for the, uh, you know, about Okishite Shibara, about this art. But you, you can, you know, uh, Google it later. Or oh, I can send to the joy, Om Mani Peme Fum. But I think Namu Myoho Renkyo, I suggest you to chant. And then, you know, I think next time uh, there is affirmation, uh, affirmation meditation. So if you, put the positive word, like I love you, or I thank you, or I forgive you, the, the, you select the one good positive word and then to chant again and again. It, it, it works, you know, to bring a uh, yeah, good result. Yeah, I positive, positive words actually release a serotonin yeah. um, yes. in, in your brain to, you know, that's the happy feeling. That's what the serotonin does. You know, you also get that when you're exercising. But, you know, I also put it on the chat, the Om Tare Turate Ture Soha. Um, yeah. Am I saying that right, Sensei? Om Tare Turate Ture Soha. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, that's the Dalai Lama's um, request for all of us to pray during the pandemic. Yes. So um, it's going to take some time to do that. Yes. Uh, sensei, do you, um, how do you see the soul and the mind? Um, are they one in your estimation or your belief system? Or is one a vehicle of the other? I know you said the mind is the servant, but how do, do the soul and mind work from your perspective? Great question. Yeah, yeah very good question. But uh, actually, this is, I actually I learned from uh, uh, actually, one of the yoga master in Japan with old age. So my yoga is one part of the practice of Buddhism related with Buddhism. But of course, a servant is not a good word, but uh, sorry, make you a little bit, uh, you know, make you understand well about this concept. I selected the servant, but uh, you know, yeah, meaning is simple because, you know, people doesn't know that some people doesn't know the mind or emotion can control by our willpower. That willpower means that uh, our you know, true self power, if I can you know, interpret it. Uh, because we have a strength, we have a power of mind that uh, power of, of self, I can say, that we can control these body and mind that my, because if you, we live the, as, as the uh, mind wants, uh, you know, life became uh, difficult because the mind is always 
uh, related with uh, external happenings and the news and etc. So therefore, somehow we have to bring focus. We have to bring focus on in 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 the power to control, like uh, this monkey. You know, we we need to. Therefore, the, this uh, meditation that we we, we should, uh, and, you know, uh, advise you to apply in daily life because medit if you continue to apply the meditation, you know what are you feeling. You know what uh, you stay in the state of mind. What what you know uh, who you are actually. You, you will you will be mindful about you if you continue to engage in meditation. So be mindful of yourself, meaning you will be able to control your emotion. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, you know, yeah, sorry for monkey, but the monkey is a good animal, but you know, it, mind, mind it, there is a very powerful tool that we have. Yeah, I can say tool, mind is tool of live this world, because if, we have, we, you can use our mind positively, really, the, the life will change. The, this temple same, we had a lot of problem, but uh, I, I try to be positive on everything. And even, you know, many things happen in the world, but I think, but, you know, I don't want to discuss the positive thinking now, but uh, I would like to say mind has a power to, uh, yeah, make uh, make your life uh, more, uh, you know, wonderful or more, you know, beautiful. The 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 meaning uh, it, again. The other hand, mind made us very sad, sad situation. That my mind will bring the the actually the Buddha said everything depends on our mind. That Buddha said, so the happening will follow our mind. That Buddha say so. Even Buddha says, all the happening in the front of us, this is a reflection of our mind. That Buddha says. So therefore, uh, we should control our mind. So we should be master. But master means, yeah, we have a self. We have a true self that control mind. Uh, sorry, can I hear any? Make sense? Yes. Um, uh, and I've also just to add to what you said, go ahead, go ahead. That, um, from what I've learned is that the mind is the vehicle of the spirit, both are intertwined, and it's dependent on each other. Yes. But the spirit is something that is not as tangible that our minds can because uh, mind is connected to the brain, right? That's part of the functions. That's yes, part of yes. the tangi tangible. The spirit is intangible, you know, something that we cannot touch, but we know it's there, like the soul. Spirit, soul, however you put it. Meditation is never easy in the beginning. It will always feel awkward in the beginning. It will always feel like, am I doing this right? You know, it doesn't feel right. But if you stick with it, at least for that week, that's the assignment. Just stick with it for that week. See how it feels, because you you won't be able to decide how it feels for you if you just do it once, right? It's I want you to have an informed decision. Um, we're not pros proselytizing to anybody. Again, we don't want to convert you from one religion to another. <laughs> um, that is not the point of this. I've been working no. with Sensei Yamamura. Uh, uh, to make sure that we have uh, just give people a peace of mind because it's part of the inner peace workshop and then um, tie it into uh, Reverend Fuji who's part of the Honolulu Myohoji Temple actually walked with Gandhi in the Salt Satyagraha movement that's the catalyst for freeing India that was the final thing that the British was like okay salt destroyed an empire isn't that an amazing concept um, and the whole time i was told by sensei that gandhi while they were walking the salt Gaha, was chanting nam myoho renge kyo is that right do yes. you want to add anything uh sensei so uh, please visit our temple you know everyone if you need uh, you know 
please you know get the information from uh, Dr. Joy. We are welcome all of you. Sensei, if you could thank you very much for coming and thank you so much for giving us oh thank um, you thank you everyone you know, i'm clapping and praying at the same time okay oh, that's something new all right